Hello and welcome to some more information from Toolcraft Plastics. We are your full service plastic injection moulding supplier. We're based in Swindon and we're a family run business with a lifetime of experience. Today I'd like to tell you a little about the plastic injection moulding process. The plastic injection moulding process allows the manufacture of plastic parts or components. The process works by heating and injecting plastic material under pressure into a closed metal tool. The mould tool, which can be made from aluminium alloy or hardened steel for example, provides the shape of the plastic part to be produced. Using a well designed and well made mould tool is vital in ensuring the quality of the plastic items produced. To make the process easy to understand, it can be broadly broken down into four main stages. Stage 1 of the plastic injection moulding process. The mould tool with the hollowed out shape of the plastic part to be produced is the grey block shown on the left side of this picture. With the two parts of the mould tool firmly clamped together under pressure, plastic granules are fed from the hopper, shown on the top of the picture, into the barrel and rotating screw of the injection moulding machine. These plastic granules are then made into molten plastic liquid using heat, friction and force. As the screw is rotated, the molten plastic is forced forward through a check valve towards the mould tool. By pushing the material to the front, the screw is forced backwards to the right of the picture shown here. Stage 2 of the plastic injection moulding process. Injection. A hydraulic ram is used to force the screw forward so that the molten plastic material is injected into the closed mould tool. Pressure is applied after the molten plastic material has been injected into the mould to make sure that all cavities and spaces have been filled. Stage 3 of the plastic injection moulding process. Cooling. The plastic injection moulding tool is held closed under pressure to allow the plastic material to cool and set hard in the mould tool cavity. This stage involves some waiting time. Stage 4 of the plastic injection moulding process. Opening and ejection. In this final stage of the process, as the screw begins moving back for the next moulding, the tool is opened. The opening of the tool and the use of, for example, air blast, a plate or rods mean that the finished plastic moulding is ejected. The mould is then closed and the whole cycle begins again for the next moulding. Why use Toolcraft for your plastic injection moulding needs? You will receive quality service and products thanks to Toolcraft's expertise in plastic injection moulding in a wide range of materials and colours. You can be sure that your mould tool is up for the job and affordable by asking Toolcraft to make the tool for you here in the UK. Toolcraft are also experienced toolmakers. You can enjoy cost savings by having the tool made by Toolcraft's trusted toolmaking partner in China. You can save more money and minimise downtime by asking Toolcraft to make your annual plastic quantity and hold it in stock for you for up to six months, delivering it in batches to your schedule on demand. You can be sure that your mouldings are being produced in a very cost-effective way thanks to Toolcraft's use of repositionable machines. You can save production time by asking Toolcraft to pad or hot foil print on your plastic mouldings for you in-house. You can enjoy the simplicity and efficiency of allowing Toolcraft to take care of the whole process for you. Toolcraft, your single source for a complete design to manufacture service including plastic injection mould tools and plastic injection moulding. I hope this has been of interest to you. To get in touch with us for more information, including requesting your free information pack, please use the contact form on toolcraft.co.uk or call 01793 641 040 now.